So one of the uh, coolest editor that we're going to talk about right now is uh, Visual Studio Code. So, so far uh, we have seen how to execute uh, a protector test using command prompt, using Eclipse as an open source editor, using WebStorm as a, as, a, as a licensed editor, right? So you, there are a number of editors uh, through which you can uh, execute the protector scripts. So one of the uh, coolest editor uh, that I come, came across is uh, Visual Studio Code. And this is completely open source, very lightweight, and uh, very easy to configure and execute your protector test. So uh, what you need to do, you directly need to go to, uh, uh, let's, let's say type, uh, we download Visual Studio Code. And you need to download it uh, from this link. So it is free and open source, and you can uh, integrate a lot of extensions uh, in this uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, it's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. We are on a Windows 10 machine, so I'll be downloading it from here. Once you download, you get a .exe file like this. Installation is very straightforward. Just run this .exe, and it gets installed. During the installation, uh, it will gonna uh, generate some folders. Uh, this is like you're gonna see Visual Studio Code, right? It's it's a very lightweight editor. Just you need to click on it, and it will gonna launch the editor like this. So a couple of things that you can do uh, before you uh, start uh, running your uh, protector test or before you start writing your scripts, uh, you can uh, you can see there are, there are a lot of things available over here. You can customize uh, the theme, the look and feel of this editor as well, right? Or you can uh, install the support of JavaScript and TypeScript, right? Uh, this is uh, grayed out because I've already installed it. Otherwise, you just need to uh, click on this, like this is uh, installed installing Python, although Python is not required, but this is the same way you'll be installing JavaScript. You just need to click on it. You'll get a window like this. Uh, click on OK and uh, your JavaScript and other things, uh, all the uh, customized uh, uh, tools that you required will be installed within a few seconds. Right. Once it is installed, uh, while typing your scripts, you're gonna get uh, all the suggestions. Uh, right. Uh, when whenever you uh, put a dot, you get all the recommendations, all the methods, functions, right, accordingly, which are supported by that that library. Right. So it's take few seconds to install uh, these uh, languages. Right. Once you are done with it, uh, you can either create a, a new file uh, or what you can do if you if you're already working on protector and you have a protector uh, JS files or protector TS files. TS is basically for TypeScript. We're going to see something on TypeScript as well in future. But for the time being, uh, we'll be uh, seeing how we can ex execute our existing protector uh, scripts uh, using this uh, Visual Studio code. So what you need to do, what, what I'll be doing is I'll be opening up the folder where I've kept my protector test. So this is the folder and I'm going to select the folder. And very quickly, it has added all the files over here, right? So uh, your node modules are added. Node modules is, uh, th th these node modules contain my protector library. So I've already added it over here, right? And then uh, you'll be seeing uh, the JS files that I've created. Right, and you can you can see that you can feel the look and feel how it actually looks like. Right, it comes with an inbuilt uh, PowerShell window PowerShell terminal. Right, over here you can execute your command. The very first thing you should be trying to do is if you don't have Node modules in your root directory, just do all the installations npm uh, install protector. So once you uh, are done with this, this protector will be added in your node modules. And wherever you uh, use protector library, let's say uh, if I write something over here, let's say uh, if I say element, see I'm getting auto suggestions, element uh, by dot. See, I, I get all these locator methods over here. So I'll say by dot binding and see what uh, binding or let's say by dot uh, xpath and what xpath accepts is it uh, accepts a string locates element matching xpath selector see it, it is giving you a definition as well so uh, put that thing in string and then give dot and see 
we get a method send keys. So this is how uh, auto suggestions will be enabled uh, when you add uh, that particular node module, whether you're working on Jasmine, whether you're working on Protector or any other JavaScript uh, node module, you, you just need to install that over here. And once it is installed, you this powerful editor will actually gonna show you auto suggestions and all those things, right? And now let's try to run one of our Protector tests and to make sure that everything works fine. So this is our conf.js file in which uh, I have given direct connect equal to true, right? So no need to start the web driver uh, manager server, right? No need to do nothing. It will directly gonna launch up Chrome. And what this is doing, this is running a basic uh, uh, spec over here that is uh, like we, where we are navigating to Angular, JS website and we are performing all these tasks right so i'll just gonna do in the powershell i'll gonna say uh protractor sorry conf.js that's it and you should be able to run your task directly from this editor right so it will perform all the testing and we're gonna show you the results directly over here. If in case you don't see this uh, PowerShell terminal, you need to go to view and uh, click on integrated terminal and you should be able to see it over here, right? So this is about the Visual Studio Code, which is very simple and very easy to use and looks very interactive as compared to other editors and it's completely open source. So you'll be able to manage your protractor project very easily in this editor. And in our future examples, uh, where we have seen different editors, I'll be, I'll be creating some more examples for uh, this uh, Visual Studio Code editor, and uh, we're gonna see how we can execute results from there. All right, thank you.